Good morning, traders. U.S. stocks rose again last night uh, on a mixture of bad news as good news and a bit of end of quarter cash flows as, as fund managers did some window dressing on their portfolios. Uh, the bad news is a rise in unemployment claims to 198,000 uh, for the week, and the U.S. GDP figure came in below expectation as well at 2.6%. Uh, we also had a couple of Fed speakers in the mix, which are of course some volatility during the session. Nasdaq again led the charge higher with mega cap tech stocks outperforming Apple, Tesla and Microsoft all had healthy gains. The Nasdaq is on track for its best quarter since uh, Q4 21. So it's, it's rallied over 17% this quarter so far with one day left. Uh, another indicator of market optimism is the VIX or the fear index touching below 20. Uh, the VIX has now retraced most of its gains that, uh, that it saw after the collapse of, of Sovereign Bank and uh, Credit Suisse. In FX markets, the US dollar was mostly lower. Markets were on risk on mode, so that's not a surprise. The, the Euro US rallied on a weaker dollar and the German inflation figure that came in hotter than expected. So it pushed above 109, it's testing the highs it set last week and uh, may push on to 110, which are the highs for 2023. Yesterday's steep losses in the yen were reversed, um, helped long by US 10 year yields falling. Uh, cyclical currencies were bid as well on a weaker US dollar and risk appetite. Cable touched on 124. It's testing its 2023 20, highs at that level, a bit of resistance there. The Aussie and the Kiwi regained all of yesterday's losses. Uh, the Aussie dollar settling above the 67 US cents level. Gold found support at its trend line, rallied above 1950. Uh, this, most of that rally was in the afternoon, which coincided with a, with a sell-off in bank stocks at the time. So still shows that gold is benefiting from its safe haven flows there. Uh, tonight, economic news, we have the Fed's favourite inflation gauge, the PCE price core price index. Uh, it's expected to show a moderation in inflation to 0.4% from the 0.6 in the previous reading. So with the next Fed decision on a knife edge, it's priced in around 50-50 for a pause or a hike at the moment. Um, there could be some real volatility around this figure.